Hey guys, Scott from Scott's Bass Lessons here again. If you haven't checked out my website, do so. There's a load of uh, really good bass lessons on there, just like this one. Uh, this week I'm going to be talking about another pentatonic type run that I used in the first pentatonic tutorial. If you haven't watched that, go to my website, check it out, then watch the, there's another one, and then this is the second, so this is the third in the series of the pentatonic tutorials. Um, the chord sequence that we were talking about and applying these licks to, okay, was A minor for one bar, B flat major for one bar, and C major for one bar. So you can write that down if you want. Um, I'll just play them just so you can hear the actual tonality of the chord sequence. Oh, well, two, three, four. A minor, B flat. C major, A minor, B flat major, C major. Okay, so it's a four bar sequence. We were talking about um, applying different pentatonic scales to these to these chords. Um, now the the second lick that I want to talk about is something. That you'll hear it's it's a really common lick okay um it's still loads of funk records all that kind of thing and it's basically i'll play you it and then i'll slow it down and show you it so it's okay and this is in the key of c major now the last lick i talked about second pentatonic tutorial that was all in one position okay this one is going across positions so it's using this position it's using this position and it's using this position they're all C major pentatonic but it's just gr going across the positions now I'm going to do another tutorial talking about how to use these uh, the different positions and how to learn them um, but that's another tutorial so I'm just going to show you the lick so it's a C major first of all okay and the first note of the lick is a C so you start the C with your first finger and then there's a slide flat to E, which is the third, so boom, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba. okay, so it's root third, but we're doing a slide into it, a semitone slide, E flat, E, now that E flat isn't in the pentatonic scale, it's just a passing note, okay, and then we've got G, A, C, D, to be 
be second nature. You don't need to be thinking about, you know, oh, what my finger's doing. It's like eating, you know. You don't think about it when you put your, you know, your crisps in your mouth. You don't shove it in your cheek. You just put it in your mouth, you know. You've done it so many times, and this is exactly the same thing. You've just got to do it over and over. <laughs> within the chord sequence, okay? Um, so the chord sequence, A minor. B flat major, C major. The two bars, the C major. So the bass line will go. transpose on the bass and guitar because you just move the pattern about okay this is it in C in B flat and because it's a B flat major we can use that pattern on the B flat major okay so now I'm going to transpose that pattern and use it on the B flat major instead so the chord sequence from it okay especially this mode I use that all the time okay what I'll do is just to show, give you an example so the entire lick sorry that's the little bit I'm talking about I'm gonna steal that and apply it to the chords okay so I'll do it on the B flat and the A okay and B flat and the C sorry okay one two three four demonstrating just the little chromatic run-up to the major thirds and how you can cut the rest of the lick I showed you earlier you can cut the rest of it out and just use them little chromatic runs up to the thirds as a new type of run within your bass line now let's look at the first part of it and how we can do the same kind of thing so the full lick in its entirety is okay but we could just use the start okay Same on the B flat major because it's a major. Okay, so I'm going to play the chord sequence, and to start with, I'll just use it on the C major. I'll, so it's a cut down version of what we were doing before. Um, and then I'll start it on the B flat. We'll see how we go. It's hard while we're speaking at the same time. Oh, one, two, three, four. Once more. 
and fit in twice. see how I'm using only little fractions of each of the licks I'm kind of mixing them up to create a denser kind of bass line um, that has all these different types of, all types of orna or ornamentations within it um, so I'm not having to think about notes or anything at the same time I'm just th literally thinking about melodies and cutting the melodies up to create bigger melodies while I'm playing um, Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and there will be another one coming your way talking about how I've actually learned the pentatonics over the entire fingerboard. There's a little bit of a trick to that. Um, and if you haven't seen the website, go to scottsbasslessons.com. There is loads and loads of tutorials just like this covering soloing, uh, walking bass lines, grooves, creating your own grooves. And, and tell your friends about it. Tell your bass, bass playing friends about it as well. Um, and until next time, I'll see you in the shed. Take it easy.